this level actually has one of my favorite uh, Doom themes, I have to say. Musically, I mean. Um, I, whenever I was younger, I used to play this level and wonder... This is called Demos Lab. This is uh, Episode 2, Map 4, I think. Yeah. And uh, it, it always confused me because it's called Demos Lab. And yet, I, there is nothing... There is no geometry in this level. I mean, Doom's geometry is primitive, but... Seriously, there is no geometry in this level anywhere that gives me the idea that it's a lab. Uh, oh, I missed a backpack secret. Oh, sorry. Fix that real quick. Uh, I missed a backpack secret in the last level. But anyway. Boo. There we go. I didn't actually have to hit use there, but I don't have it. Look at that. Didn't even absorb that shot for me. How thoughtful of him. It's funny though, I've played Doom so much now that it's like these levels are beyond nostalgia for me. It's funny too, look at this little torch graphic here. Alright, you see the little skulls on the base and the little um, like twisted bronze uh, 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 stand, what do you call it, pole, and the little uh, flame up top. And it's like three frames of animation, but still, this is so much more detailed. I mean, look around, like, look at this. I, I mean, what? It, it always just struck me as odd. All the little things that they can place in the levels, like these legs that are hanging here. It's pretty gross, but like, look how detailed that is. And then, you know, if I look over here, there's just nothing. It always struck me as incongruous. I, uh, once I finish this Doom 1 LP, I'll probably do, uh, uh, quick snippets from a few user-created levels. Um, uh, stick that all into one video. Stick that all into one video and um, let you see some of the newer stuff that people have done with this game because it's pretty amazing. Uh, actually, my friends uh, from IRC, SL4 Team, uh, SL4 Team, and uh, some of his friends, uh, including some really famous within the scene mappers, uh, are doing a new series of levels called Vaporware, and he plays on me advertising those, uh, and it's funny that they're called Vaporware, although I assume they are actually going to come out, uh, that look amazing. Uh, and I can't wait for that. That's actually going to be on the Eternity Engine, uh, which is a specialized port of Doom. Um, port, because these are all source ports, uh, porting the original source uh, from Doom to Windows. Although, actually, I'm pretty sure the source they're actually porting from is uh, Linux source. It's one of my pet peeves when people say Linux. Uh, and it's not... Uh, looking at it, that's how I pronounced it for a long time, too. I mean, that's how it looks like it should be pronounced, but... Uh, and I've actually never heard anyone, you know, pronounce, or, or, or I should say, I've never heard anyone declare that this is the way you say it, but... Because the guy's name, you know, it's Linus, that's why it's named that. So it's always seemed odd to me that it would be Linux. Uh, maybe his name is Linus. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like kind of weird name to me. I'm gonna go on a bit of a rant here, and uh, this is totally not Doom related, uh, and so I apologize beforehand. But I really hate Unix and Unix-based operating systems. Uh, I know that's not gonna garner any fans. Um, and for, I'm not saying that no one should use them, I'm saying for my own personal use. Uh, it's my own personal opinion, and I don't expect anyone to agree with me. But, uh, man, I've used it, I've used Linux quite a bit. I've used, uh, Debian or Debian, I've used, uh, Ubuntu, I've used Gentoo, I've used a bunch of different distros, Red Hat, Slackware, I actually owned Mandrake at one point, a retail release. Um, a bunch of other ones. And, uh, I just... I, it's the, it's multi-user. I don't like multi-user uh, OSs, and then of course Windows now is moving that direction. And I just, I have, or has been for some time actually, uh, and I just don't care for it. Uh, honestly, if I could have like a <laughs> uh, a you know a very nearly a single tasking OS, very nearly. Uh, I like multitasking when I'm browsing the web and stuff like that. Um, and you know I might even have another computer that ran Linux or something similar uh, for that purpose, but. Um, you know, for gaming, I'd really love to have a fast, single-tasking OS with very little overhead. Uh, something like the XOS, the Xbox runs. I'm going to stop talking for a moment because you can't hear me. 
plasma rifle is easily the highest DPS in the game. I don't know. It's possible that the, uh... Yeah. Squish. It's actually kind of annoying when enemies get crushed because the, uh, their drops get crushed too. Anyway, um... It's possible the rocket launcher has a higher DPS. I'm not really sure. But I'm pretty sure the plasma rifle is higher. The plasma rifle does phenomenal amounts of damage. There's actually a lot of total conversions or TCs for Doom. Uh, one of the older ones, one of the first ones actually that was really good, was the Aliens Doom TC, and uh, it actually turns the plasma rifle into a flamethrower, which you know for aliens is pretty appropriate. Um, and uh, it, the flamethrower, I don't know if it did more damage or fired faster or what, but it seemed to do, it seemed to kill things phenomenally fast. I think it did do more damage. Which, you know, when your gun already fires that fast, increasing the damage is, like, just ridiculous. Okay, and that opens this. Which then I can go back here, and there's some stairs down. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I really like a lot of L players. L players. I like a lot of L players. I like a lot of L players, like, sing along with their, uh, the game's music. I can't do that. I, I sing pretty well, supposedly. Uh, I've always thought I sang pretty well, and people have told me that I sound good when I'm singing in a rock band, so there's that at least, but um, I can't uh, do that to y'all, because I, I don't want to subject anyone else to my singing, especially without accompaniment. I may sing pretty well in a rock band whenever I have something to sing along with, but singing otherwise is probably not. No way to keep viewers. One of my favorite, very favorite LPs of all time. It's got to be Deceased Crab's LP of Where's an Egg. Uh, sleeves showed me that, and that was actually one of the first LPs I actually ever saw. Um, but, my god, I I lolled and lolled and lolled at that. Where's an Egg, viewers? I don't really talk directly to you guys that much. I probably should. I might get more responses that way. Of course, it's funny, I haven't even posted any of this yet. You know, I'm recording this all in one go. I doubt anyone will watch it in its entirety in one go. Of course, it could be wrong. You never know. I'm not afraid of getting flamed, so if you guys think I'm a total or complete jerk or douchebag or whatever, feel free to tell me so. I'd like to know. Of course, I always prefer constructive criticism, but, you know, if you want to troll me, that's fine, too. I, uh... I've kind of gotten over it now, but I used to be something of a 4chaner, a B-tard. And lol, rules one, and, rules one and two, but rules one and two only apply in raids, new fags. Um, anyway, I've kind of gotten over it now, but I used to be something of a 4chaner, and uh, of course with 4chan being the home of trolls, trolling trolls, trolling trolls, uh, I've kind of gotten over it, kind of gotten used to dealing with that. So if that's your, if that's your, if that's your, your, uh, your shtick, your gig, I'm fine with it. Tricky little puzzle here. Um... Also, is that not freaky? Look at that. That creeped me out the first time I ever saw it. Anyway, uh, of course I was like 10 or something. I don't even remember. 11. I had been at least 11. Yeah, 11 was when I first saw it. Anyway, um, you come in this room and you're in here and there's there's no there's nothing here and you just have to jump into the, and jump into the muck and there's a teleporter over there and a teleporter over here. Uh, a teleporter over there just brings you back as does that teleporter over there. But on that wall over there, there's a switch. When you hit that switch, it raises the bridge. But then you come over here and you go, oh, wait a minute, I want that. But actually, all you have to do, I think, oh, that's right, you have to walk onto the door. There you go. Walk onto the door and ta-da! Which, if you have sound, you'll hear the thing lower, or raising. If you're perceptive, anyway. There we go. Deimos Lab. Did you see anything in that level, guys? It's like a lab. Anything. I sure didn't. Anyway, um, guess I'll keep going. So, uh, click the next video.